Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is your pastor. Um, this is day five, day five, day five. We're excited about day five. Uh, I greet you in the precious name of Jesus Christ. I am still on a spiritual high. We're going to get to this prayer journal, but I got to give on this morning. I got to give, you know, this is when you'll be watching this. I, I got to give a, a, a praise report um, on last or yesterday. Um, we, you know, we had Bible study um, and it was awesome. You know, you really made your pr pastor proud. You were flexible. You, uh, you know, went on Zoom you know, last minute. And I appreciate that because as you, as you saw, um, you know, it was better to go to do it through zoom. And so, you know, we're excited about what God is going to do in this ministry, you know, even, um, down to the fact that we were able to have not just members, but we were able to have, um, uh, non-members who I always say, who are members of the body of Christ, right? No matter whether you are a member of Mount Zion, if you say, feel the Holy ghost, um, you're part of the body of Christ. And so just to be able to see so many people on, uh, I believe by the end of this curriculum, this course, uh, you know, three months from now, we, we, my goal is to have at least over a hundred people. Uh, and I believe we can do it. And so I appreciate um, some of you have, um, you know, some of you had, you know, got the uh, email um, some of you have requested the books, but we're going to continue to um, send out the lesson via email because it seems like, you know, some of you had uh, received it and did the assignments. And so uh, we're going to do um, push this thing forward. Uh, and so, again, um, please, man, please, sir. Hey, it's, it's up there. We want to make sure that you have all, uh, you know, all the options are, you know, you know given to you at your fingertips. And so, again, we're going to move forward uh, and I appreciate, you know, you um, supporting and you um, being obedient, you know, to what your pastor is asking you, because we do know um, that this is only going to help us um, as we look to elevate. And we know that obedience is better than sacrifice. So, again, we're pushing each other. We're going to continue to go up and up and up. Um, but I'm, I'm so thankful um, you know, for your willingness to uh, come on Zoom and to chime in and, and just to engage. And so, again, I am so excited. Uh, I'm looking for God to do um, awesome work. You know, he's going to do he's going to blow our mind. He blew my mind on yesterday. And I and I just want to stop and be able to thank God to God be the glory. I experienced I don't know about you, but I experienced God just yesterday on it during that bible study i experienced god and so i'm thankful my 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 faith is renewed and i'm just definitely appreciative for what god is doing so i'm excited i'm excited excited um, as we go into our prayer journal today uh, i want to read into your hearing galatians uh, our scripture that we read every day galatians 5 16 25 so i say let the holy spirit guide our lives then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. Since we are living by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. And so that's very, very true. So this, uh, we're still in, in this week of consecration. This first week in this prayer journal is dealing with consecrating ourselves to God. And so day, day five uh, comes from a very familiar passage of scripture, 1 Peter 2, 9. Um, it reads, it says, but you are not like that, uh, for you are a chosen people. Uh, you are a royal priest, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God, for he called you out of darkness into his into his wonderful light is what the New Living Translation is. But in your King James, into your into the marvelous light is what we um, understand it to be. So um, this passage is very, very good. Again, it's, it's setting us to understand that uh, our job is to realize that, you know, in this process of, of, of consecrating ourselves to God is that um, we are beneficiaries of God's grace, right? Um, you know, in our experiences, you know, God does not just allow us to go through things just for uh, kicks and giggles, right? He, there's a purpose behind it. And, and ultimately, whatever um, you're going through, ultimately, God wants the glory. 
right? And so even with our experiences, you know, we talked about this uh, during Bible study yesterday. Um, guys, it, our experiences should bring us to having an experience with God. And so I'm, I'm so glad that if you look at this text, it says that you were called out of darkness. And so we have a story. All of us have a story. We're all an ex something, right? We're all former this, right? We've been delivered from certain sins and there's some certain sins that we're still struggling with. And so when people know what you used to do, right? The, you know, the people who you went to school with, the people who you went to the club with, the people who you did, did sin with, right? When they know what you used to do, but then they see that you are um, uh, different, you are changed, right? You're walking new, you're, you're upright, you're, you're talking different, right? They will say, man, you know, what must I do to be saved? Like, I want the joy that you have, right? And so that is when he says, as a result, you can show others the goodness. Your your experience, your life, you know, it was said yesterday, it should be to um, bring God glory for one, but it should be to witness. And oftentimes our witness may be able to, uh, may diminish because we're not really allowing ourselves to be consecrated. Um, and, and so we are still living in darkness when God says, I called you out of that. Because why? The question to ponder is, why did God choose you? You know, that's the question that we need to believe. That's the, the question we need to think about. That's the question that we need to answer. That the question we need to meditate on. Why did God choose you? Like, that's the question I ask myself. Why did God choose me? Why did God choose me? Why did God choose me to preach at 15? Why did God choose me to go into pastor at 20? Why did God choose me um, to send me to Cincinnati to pastor this church uh, called Mount Zion? He could have chose anyone, right? There's other people who could probably out preach me could, that was better, the more qualified. But why did God choose little old me? And so when, when you understand that God didn't have to choose you. We think we choose, we chose God, but we no, it's the other way around. God chose us. And, and, and that should make us feel special, right? Um, that should make us feel like, wow, you know, um, I don't need to allow the devil to try to um uh, uh, get into my head to think that I'm not um you know special or I'm I'm not a, uh, a peculiar or I'm not, you know, set apart. God loved me because he purchased and he went the, he went, uh, he, you know, he did the unthinkable. He went, um, to the cross and there was nothing that would have stopped him because he pursued me. I and mean, that's even what we talk about in our Bible study, experiencing God, that the second reality is God pursues this love relationship. You see how this connects? And so that's the thing is that we need to realize that as we ponder this question, know that God chose you. He, he chooses us every day and there's nothing that's going to stop him from loving us. And so that's why it should compel us to go um, and do what God calls us to do. That's why it should compel us to have a yes, Lord, a yes spirit that although I don't want to do it, but because of what God means to me, I'm going to do it anyway. And so that's what I need for us to ponder today as we uh, go into go um, with you know, go within this day. Um, and as we continue into this 21st, 21 um, days of consecration, prayer, and fasting, let us remember um, that God chose us. Um, and, and that is such a joy to remember um, that that God loves us enough, even in my mess, even in my difficulties, even in my flaws. Like, I don't got to put a facade up because God knows. Like, he knows what's in my heart. He knows what's in my mind. He knows everything about me so I don't have to front right I can just come to God as just as I am but I'm not gonna stay as I am did y'all just hear that I can come as I am but I'm not gonna stay because God's gonna make me over God's gonna change me he's gonna give me a new heart he's gonna create me a clean heart renew right spirit he's going to um you know show me that I need to present my body as a living sacrifice right holy this, this, these are the verses that we've been going over so, so my brothers and sisters, just know that God loves you 
and that um, and that he called us out of darkness not to remain in darkness. He called us out of darkness so that we can be in light and that we can go back and bring somebody help bring somebody else out of darkness so that they can see the beauty of, of being in the ark of safety of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Lord God, we come right now. Lord God, on this uh, Thursday and this fifth day of this consecration period, Lord, Lord, we're thankful for the growth that we've already have uh, achieved. We're thankful, Lord God, that you've been walking with us. We're thankful, Lord God, that you're stretching us. We're thankful, Lord God, that you're calling this church and every person that we're connected to. We're, you're calling your people into um, prayer fasting. You're calling your people into a spiritual awakening. You're calling your people into repentance. You're calling your people into seeking you that is less about us, but more about you. You're calling us. And Lord, as we learned yesterday, you, uh, when you call, we ought to respond. And so today, Lord God, our prayer is, Lord, let us know that even in the uh, in our uh, strengths, in our weaknesses, in our brokenness, in our um, you know in our jobs, in our security, in our money, no matter what it is, let us know today that we ought to continue to present ourselves to you. That you called us out of darkness, that you pursued us, that you loved us in spite of us. Because Lord, some of us are still dealing with this, this ideal of having to, to, to try to impress people. Some of us are dealing with this idea of never me measuring up. Some of us are still dealing with insecurities and, 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 and because we're insecure, we have to act out of the character because after all, your word says that we are peculiar, we're, we're different, that we're your own special people. And so, Lord, we are King's children. And, and so we don't have to put up a front. We don't have to try to be someone that we're not. Only thing we need to be is to understand our true identity in you. So, Lord God, for those who are on this, who will listen to this prayer, I'm asking that you touch us today that you help us to understand that we need to know who we are in Christ, that we don't get our, uh, our, our um, satisfaction or we don't get, you know, the, the ideal of being full, fulfilled by um, other people's opinions or um, how other people view us, Lord God. Lord, we know that we're confident in you and you alone. And so, Father God, help us to know, Lord God, that you loved us and that you did so much. You, you are doing so much and that you will do all these things for us. And we don't deserve it, Lord. We don't deserve it. But that just goes to show you how much you love us in spite of us. So, Father God, help someone that's on this call. Help someone that will be listening. Help us, Lord God, as we are still trying to um, hear you, Lord God. And, and Lord, we ask that you, we, we, we petition, Lord God, that we rebuke the devil right now who will, who always tries to speak negativity, who tries to come and seek and devour and seek and destroy and kill. Lord, we pray, Lord God, that you put a head of protection around us today because, Lord, the devil is mad. He's mad because this church is fasting. He's mad because we're praying. We're, he's mad because we are seeking your name, your face. We, he's mad because we decide that we're going to pray and fast and, and give ourselves back over to you. He is mad. He's mad because this is not just a Mount Zion thing, but this is opening up to other people. Lord God, he is mad and he's going to try to to raise his ugly head, Lord God, because we don't, we know that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against spiritual wickedness in high places. So Lord, today I'm asking that you cover our church right now 
Because, Lord, I, think, I, I believe lives will be changed. I believe that minds will be renewed. I believe that relationships will be restored. I'm, I, I, I believe that our faith will be reignited. I, I believe that our church will be healthier. I believe that people, Lord God, will gossip less and be more about the gospel. I believe, Lord God, that people will start seeing, Lord God, that there's a true reality in serving you. I believe, Lord God, that there will be a great revival and not just a spring revival and not just a fall revival, things that we do out of formality, but yet it will truly be a revival in the land, Lord God, that, that people will pick, uh, put down the guns and, Lord God, and that children, Lord God, will learn to respect their parents and grandparents, Lord God, that there will be less killing in this world. Lord, send us a revival, Lord God. Let the church, Lord God, answer the call, Lord God, to, into holiness. Time out for shaggy living. Time out for having a form of godliness but denying the power. Time out, Lord God, for just doing church and just coming to church just to check it off. Lord God, time out for being a Pharisee and Sadducee. Time out for being, Lord God, leaders who are self-righteous. Time out for members who are self-righteous. Time out for these things, Lord God, that we know that we're sinning, but because we are too arrogant and too prideful, we don't want to acknowledge where we're wrong. Time out for that. Time out, Lord God. You're saying time out. Stop it. Because, Lord, we can't, you can't use us to our full potential until we humble ourselves, until we get down on our knees and, and, and say, Lord, Master, I need you. No matter what degrees I have, no matter what letters is behind my name, no matter how much money I got in the bank, no matter how much stocks and bonds I have, no matter how much experience I may have, Lord, no matter what position I may have, no matter what title I may acquire, the reality is that does not mean a hill beans to God because without God, we can't do anything. So dear Lord, today, we're asking Lord God that you renew us. That, Lord God, that we don't think too highly of ourselves and that, Lord, there will be a sense of humility in knowing that we need you. So, dear Lord, today, let us realize that you've called us out of darkness. Let us not remain in the darkness because of our pride and ego. Let us remember that we are servants of the almighty God. We love you, Lord God. We praise you. We bless your name. And Lord God, we thank you for what you're going to do in advance. Have your way. And Lord God, we say thank you. It's in Jesus' name we ask all these things. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. Well, we are thankful again for you uh, being on, um, that you uh, are tuned in uh, again. If you uh, are needing a book, please text me or call me and we'll be sure to get you one. If I don't hear from you, I'm just going to continue to send out the uh, each unit via email. And, and, and so and if you are living in our greater Cincinnati area and you are a member and you receive it by snail mail, please let me know. It will be sent to you upon request. We'll make sure that you get a copy. Uh, but we want to allow you to have it at your fingertips. You don't have to print it off if you don't want to. Um, but yet, whatever is uh, whatever is convenient for you, you do what uh, what's convenient for you. But we want to make sure that you have what you need so that you can um, um, join us and be a part of what God is doing. So again, um, brothers and sisters, this is your pastor. I'm signing off. You have a great, great Thursday. And, um, and, and just know, God chose us, not the other way around. And that's how much God loves us. God bless you. God keep you. Go in peace. Take care.